Our topic for today is about tautology. So, it is a statement that is always true. So, yung statement daw ay palaging true. Paano yung ganitong klase ng statement or yung sinasabi nating tautology statement? So, meron ako ditong example. Actually, magagawa ako ng truth table for three types of statements. Three problems lang. So, ang sabi dito sa instruction ay use a truth table to determine whether the given statement is a tautology. So, sa previous video ko, na-discuss ko na yung constructing a truth table. So, if you want to know on how to construct a truth table first, before nyo to, you watch. Meron ako sa previous video ko, part 1 and 2. So, just check it out. This one, kumbaga, after mag-construct ng truth table, dito na tayo sa tautology. Okay, meron tayo ditong statement na P or not P or negation of P. So, if you notice, meron tayong isang klaseng statement lang, which is P. Okay, hindi to siya dalawa. Kahit, kahit negation pa to siya, P pa rin yan siya. Considered as P lang yan siya. One type of statement. So, di ba meron tayong formula pag mag-construct ng truth table para malaman natin kung ilang rows meron ang ating truth table. Ginagamit natin itong klase ng formula, which is 2 raised to N. Yung N, it symbolizes the, the number of type of statement. So, meron, meron lang tayong P. So, meron lang tayong isa. So, ibig sabihin 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 1 is equals to 2. So, meaning, meron lang tayong dalawang rows. So, 2 rows sa ating truth table. Which is this one na true at saka false lang. Kasi nga, isang statement lang ang given. Okay, since sinulat ko na dito, ang P, meron, siya, meron tayong true, true at saka false na statement. Now, yung negation ng P na true ay false. Diba? And then, ang negation naman, or yung kabaliktaran, yung opposite ng false ay true. So, after natin makuha yung negation, pwede na natin isulat yung mismong statement, which is this one, P or not P. Na kung matatandaan nyo, pag or ang connective na gamit natin, ang or magiging true ang isang statement kapag at least mayroong isang true sa dalawang pinag-combine na statement. Okay, sa this one, sa or, kailangan may at least one true. Kailangan may one true. Ganyan. Para maging true yung statement. Na kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong true at saka false. So, di ba meron namang true. So, magiging true pa rin yung whole statement. So, true at saka false kasi P or not P. True or false, just true. And then, for ne next naman, meron tayong false at saka true. So, meron pa rin true, which is true pa rin ang statement. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung statement na P or not P ay dalawang true or both true yung sagot. So, ito yung ibig sabihin ng tautology. Yung statement, kahit pa not P yung isa, saka P yung isa, true pa rin yung kalalabasan ng statement kahit iba-iba yung truth value nila. So, this one is the truth table or yung how to prove na tautology itong number one. So, ito yung answer natin. For number two, we have the statement Q or not Q and R and not Q. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawang type of statement, two types of statement, which is statement Q at saka yung statement R. Gagamitin natin yung formula, which is 2 raised to N, to find the number of rows na gagamitin natin. Although, sinulat ko na na apat siya, pero let's just prove kung tama ba tong Kung apat ba yung dapat gamitin natin. ba Meron tayong Q at saka R. So, meron tayong dalawang types of statement. So, pag yung formula which is 2 raised to N to find the number of rows, mag-substitute lang tayo. 2 raised to yung N, yung 2. Uh, 2 yung N kasi nga meron tayong Q at saka R. Kaya 2, dalawa. So, 2 raised to 2 is 4. Kaya meron tayong 4 rows. Kaya meron tayong true, true, false, false. And then yung R naman, true, false, true, false. So actually, sinulat ko na siya para mas mabilis na lang yung pagsagot natin. Now let's determine kung tautology nga yung, number, yung given number 2 na statement. Kasi dapat kapag tautology siya, ang lalabas sa final answer dito dapat true lahat para makonsider siya as tautology. Okay, sinulat ko muna yung negation of Q since meron tayong given na negation of Q para mas mabilis na lang yung pagsagot natin. Okay, negation of Q. 
Now, yung Q natin ay ito, true, true, false, false. Now, yung kabaliktaran ng true ay false. Ganun yung negation, which is opposite. So, yung opposite naman ng true ulit, false again. Now, yung opposite ng false ay true. Now, this one is true din. Now, next. Since, di ba meron tayong bracket, sa loob ng bracket, meron din tayong statement sa loob ng parenthesis. So, ang uunahin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis before isusunod yung nasa loob ng bracket. Yung nasa parenthesis muna, yung lalagyan natin ng truth value. So, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis ay yung statement na Q and R. Now, remember, kapag N yung connective na ginagamit natin, this one, N to siya ha. This one is N. Now, kapag N ang ginagamit na connective, dapat para maging true yung dalawang statement na pinag-combine, which is Q and R, kailangan dalawa sila both true. True dapat silang dalawa para maging true yung statement. Kapag may isang false sa kanila, ibig sabihin false na yon. Now, meron tayong Q at saka R daw, which is this one and this one. Q at saka R, Q and R is true, true. So, ibig sabihin, this statement is true. Kasi true, true. Dalawang true. Now, this one is true, false, which is false. Kasi nga, kailangan dalawa silang true. Again, this one is false at saka true. So, false pa rin yan. Ito naman, false, false, of course, false yung sagot. So, next, we have... The negation of Q and R. Diba? Kung mapapansin nyo, tapos na tayo sa loob ng parenthesis. As a whole na muna na tayo, yung sa bracket muna. So, unahin muna natin yung first statement sa loob ng bracket, which is the negation of Q and R. Now, remember, meron na tayong Q and R. So, kukunin na lang natin yung negation niya o yung kabaliktaran ng truth value niya. So, diba meron na tayong true dito. So, ibig sabihin yung negation dito ay false. Now, this one is false. So, yung negation niya ay true. Ito naman ay false, so true pa rin ang negation. Same for this one, which is true ang negation. Now next, di ba tapos na tayo dito sa isang statement sa loob ng bracket, which is not Q and R. So yung ano naman, yung next na gagawin natin, itong sa loob, sa loob na lahat ng bracket, kasama na itong N, not Q. So kasama na yung negation of Q, which is this one na, negation of Q and R, N, not Q. Now, remember, ang ginamit na connective ulit dito ay N, which is this one, N. So, para maging true itong statement mismo, kailangan itong not Q and R magiging true at saka itong not Q ay true para yung whole statement consider as true. Kung at least may isang false sa kanila, false yung statement mismo. Okay. Now, di ba yung not Q and R, meron na tayo dito, nakuha na natin yung truth value niya. Meron din naman tayong not Q, which is this one. So, ang pagbabasehan natin, itong nasa column 4 at saka itong nasa column 2. Now, remember yung ginamit na connective ay N. So, kailangan both true para maging true. So, for first statement, meron tayong false and false. So, meaning false yung statement. This one naman, meron tayong true at saka false. So, false pa rin yan kasi dapat true silang dalawa para maging true. Which is ito na. True at saka true. Kaya, this one magiging true na ang statement. For last one naman, meron tayong true at saka true ulit. So, true pa rin ang statement. Now, we have our final statement. Yung lahat na kabuuan na mismo. Since natapos na natin, na-determine yung truth value yung nasa loob ng bracket, which is this one. False, false, true, true. Isasama na natin yung sa loob, yung Q. Q or, or na mismo. This one is or na. Or na yung ginamit na connective dito sa labas. Or. Now, yung or kailangan at least mayroong isang true para yung whole statement makonsider as true. So, dapat itong Q maging true or itong nasa loob ng bracket maging true para yung statement mismo, yung buong statement may, ay makoconsider na true. Okay. Let's start for this one. Di ba meron na tayong itong sa loob ng bracket? False, false, true, true. And then, meron din naman tayong Q, which is true, true, false, false. So, meaning, yung basis natin ay itong pang fifth column at saka itong Q na nasa first column. So, ang basis natin ay ito at saka ito. This one. Now, yung first statement natin, meron tayong true at saka false. Now, remember, or yung connective nila. So, true, true at saka false, true pa rin yan. Kasi at least may isang true. May True kasi yung Q, kaya true yung whole statement. Mako-consider as true yung whole statement. 
Now, next naman, meron tayong true at saka false. So, true pa rin yan kasi may isang true. Now, this one naman, pang third, meron tayong false at saka true, which is also true. Now, for last one, meron tayong false at saka true. True pa rin kasi may isang true nga, which is this one. Now, ito yung final answer natin, which is true, 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 at saka true. So, apat na true, meaning this statement or yung number two na given statement ay tautology. So, ito yung pagbabasihan natin for if tautology ba or hindi, which is this one. Ito yung last na sagot natin. Itong apat na true. For true. So, this one is the truth table for number two. So, for our last statement, meron tayong P or Q or not P or Q. So, ito yung given sa atin. Let's determine kung yung statement na to ay tautology or hindi ba. Okay, meron tayong dalawang class, dalawang type ng statement, which is statement P at saka yung statement Q. Now, remember, 2 raised to N yung formula, which is ganito. 2 raised to N is equals to 2 raised to 2. 2 yan kasi meron tayong Q at saka P. Kaya, yung N natin ay 2. Now, 2 raised to 2 is 4, so meaning we have 4 rows. So, which is this one na true, true, false, false. True, false, true, false for Q naman. Depende sa inyo actually kung paano nyo gawin yung truth table nyo. Meron akong tutorial about truth table. Two method actually yun. So, this one is only the one method. Yung ginagamit ko to to teach how, on how to construct a truth table. At saka paano mag-determine ng ganitong mga klaseng statement. Okay, sinulat ko dito yung not P. Kasi kasali yung not P dito. Para at least hindi tayo malito kapag i-consider natin yung buong statement. So, for not P, meron tayong true, true, false, false, for, for P. So, yung not P ng first statement, di ba yung first statement natin ay true for P. So, yung negation niya ay false. Na yung next naman, false pa rin kasi true yan. So, yung false ngayon sa P magiging true na sa not P. Na ang false ulit magiging true ulit. So, meron tayong false, false, true, true sa ating not P na statement. Since wala namang bracket dito, we have only statements in a parenthesis. So, uunahin muna natin yung, yung naunang parenthesis, which is this one, P or Q. So, which is ito na, sinulat ko na, P or Q. Now, remember, yung connective na ginamit dito ay or, meaning at least one true para maging true yung whole statement or yung statement na P or Q. Now, yung, yung basis natin ay yung P at saka Q, which is this one, yung nasa first column. So, P or Q. So, yung first statement, true at saka true. Meaning, true yung statement. Now, next, meron tayong true at saka false. So, di ba, at least may one true. Para maging true yung buong statement for P or Q. Now, meron tayong true or false. So, meaning, true pa rin ang statement. This one naman, meron tayong false at saka true. Which is, true pa rin. Now, for the last one, meron tayong dalawang false. So, meaning, false to siya. So, next we have this statement, not P or Q. Ito yung, yung second statement na nasa loob ng parenthesis, which is this one. Not P or Q. Yung ibig sabihin yung basis natin, itong not P at saka itong Q. So, magkatabi lang sila actually, which is yung first column na Q at saka yung second column na not P. Now, yung connective na ginamit dito ay or. Or again. So, yung or at least may one true para maging true. Not P or Q. Yung first statement natin ay false at saka true, meaning true ang statement. Kasi or yung connective natin. Next, meron tayong false, false. So, meaning this one is false. Kasi dalawa silang false, walang true kahit isa sa kanila, kaya false pa rin yung statement. The third statement naman, meron tayong true at saka true. So, which is true, nga naman yung statement. Now, this one, meron tayong true at saka false. So, this one is considered also to be true kasi may isang true. Diba, tapos na tayo, inisa-isa natin yung per statement, yung, nasa lo yung negation nasa loob ng dalawang parenthesis, which is this one na. Na pwede na natin isulat yung whole statement mismo. Titignan natin kung tautology ba to o hindi. Depende sa magiging final answer dito sa pang fifth column, which is this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth column. Okay, ang ginamit na connective dito ay or, this one, or to siya, or. Same sa mga first na statement natin. So, lahat sila actually or yung ginamit na connective. Now, 
Since nakuha na natin yung P or Q, which is this one na nasa third column, at saka yung not P or Q na nasa fourth column, meaning yung basis natin itong dalawang to, which is ang third at saka yung, yung nasa fourth column. Na yung connective nila ay or. So, kailangan at least may isang true para maging true yung full statement. Or for first statement, meron tayong true at saka true, meaning true ang statement. This one true naman at saka false. So, true ang statement kasi may isang true nga. For third statement naman, meron tayong true at saka true, which is also true. Yung statement mismo. Now, this one naman, meron tayong false at saka true. So, meaning true pa rin ang statement. So, kung mapapansin nyo, lahat ng statement ay true. So, ibig sabihin, this number 3 symbolic statement, meron tayong ay apat na truth value, which is ibig sabihin nito ay tautology yung symbolic statement for number 3. So that's it for our tautology tutorial for today. I hope you've learned something. Thank you for watching.